speech of thanks to those who have served our country in the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. I offer my gratitude for your commitment and sacrifice. As you may know, Veterans Day actually started under another name, Armistice Day, originally founded to note the end of World War I, a war so difficult, so brutal, it's often been called the war to end all wars. But as we know it, it would not be the last. And so in a move to acknowledge service members beyond World War I, the United States started calling it Veterans Day in 1954, a day to honor all veterans, regardless of the branch or the era in which they served. Of course, it's almost too easy to utter the words thank you without fully understanding why we should be grateful. We should be thankful for your time, veterans. You took years out of your life to serve the country. People join the military for all sorts of reasons, a commitment to the ideals of the United States, a deep interest in the branch of service you joined, the opportunity to learn new skills, the promise of continuing education after service. Perhaps it was the best option available at the time for some people. Regardless of why you joined the military, it required a significant investment of your time. We should also be thankful for your effort. We know that in order to prepare for the work that members of the military do, rigorous training is required. Countless push-ups and sit-ups, hikes with heavy packs, shooting ranges, dra practice drills, guard duty, kitchen patrol, learning to follow the orders of others all training to prepare you physically, mentally, emotionally, and perhaps spiritually for the work you would do. You were pushed, and you pushed yourselves to prepare and perform. We should also thank you for the social sacrifices you made in order to serve. Many of you spent time away from families and friends. As you were playing a critical role in our nation, you may have missed some of the important milestones in the lives of your loved ones. That's an important sacrifice worth noting. Our ongoing thanks to you, your families, and your friends. We should thank all veterans for the work you did while in the military. We understand that national security requires a large workforce engaged in many, many diverse tasks. Thank you for whatever role you played during your military service. And for those of you who are war veterans or combat veterans, we offer thanks for the challenges you faced and the risks you took for the sake of others. And so while we can say thank you quickly, in less than a second, we mean so much more than that. I wanna make one final comment, and this one is for non-veterans. We benefit from the work that you do so much. Non-veterans, we need to do more than thank them with words. I implore all of us to find out about the veterans organizations in our community and across the nation and do something to support them. My best wishes to all veterans on this Veterans Day.